This video is being sponsored by The Coldest Water, makers of highly insulated water bottles, such as this 21-ounce sports bottle, and they have various sizes all the way up to a gallon jug. You can enter to win free gear from The Coldest Water by clicking on the first link in my description, or you can click on the second link to go shopping and get a 10% discount on anything that you order. Put in the code MAYOTT, M-A-Y-O-T-T-E, and claim that 10% discount. Now today, in this video, I'm going to work on transferring and carving a piece of linoleum so that I can make a block print out of it. And I have drawn this picture of a bonsai tree, and I'm going to be using a method that I used in my last video, which was about transferring images, to get the image onto the linoleum, and then I will carve it. So, let's get started. Alright, so I have my linoleum block and I'm going to tape my image down to it uh, with the image side down of course and I want to be careful not to come too far down into the image because I don't want the tape stopping the, the transfer and then I'm going to wet the paper down with eucalyptus oil. And if you saw my last video, you know that I was impressed with the way that the eucalyptus oil worked. Now, acetone did a similar job, except it's hard to use in the house because it smells so bad. So what's happening here is we're loosening image from the paper and then we're transferring it onto the linoleum by using the eucalyptus oil. Almost there. And then as I found in my last video once I get all the eucalyptus oil soaked into the paper, it's very important to burnish it with something. Which I'm going to do. And I'm going to use this object to do the burnishing. And this is an old CO2 cylinder. It's used. There's nothing in it. And I just thought that it would make a good burnisher. I have a nice wooden burnisher that I use when I make my prints, but I don't want to use it for fear that I'll get oil all over it and it will affect the prints when I make them if I use it on, the, on them. back and take a look at it. Looking pretty good. Couple of spots I'd like to go over. I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll start cutting. So I have this bench hook that I'm going to set up because I have a habit of putting my hand in front of the linoleum. And we'll get started.
So I haven't made a lino cut in a long time, and by a long time I mean a really long time, like maybe since I was in high school. I've made plenty of block prints since then, but I usually use a piece of wood. I've worked around wood most of my life, and it was always pretty easy for me to get a close-grained cut-off or a piece of um, birch plywood or something like that to use for my projects. In fact, if you look back to my very first or maybe the second video, is of me making a wood cut into a piece of MDF which I had never done before. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And I wanted to try linoleum. I thought maybe it would be a little easier, and there are some things that are easier about it. Um, there's no grain, for one thing. You don't have to worry about that. And it is a little bit easier to cut in some ways. In other ways, it's harder. Um, when I first started cutting the linoleum, I went at it like it was a piece of wood, and I cut this first part a little deep. It doesn't have to be that deep. I soon corrected myself, and and this came out the way that I wanted it to. Now this video turned out to be rather long, but it's always hard when, when you make a project that takes a long time, it's always hard for me at least, to do the editing. I mean I sped some of it up in some places two to four times, I cut out redundant pieces that I thought were redundant and I tried to make it entertaining. It's always hard to take a long project and squeeze it down into a small amount of time. I hope that you enjoyed this one. In my next video, I will be making some prints using this lino cut. I hope that you've been enjoying this series and will continue to follow me through the rest of the process. If you like my videos, then please like and subscribe. It's important to the YouTube algorithms and it will help my channel out. And as always, I thank you for watching.